Hey everyone, welcome to my second VR game prototype. So this is a first person VR shooter and I've got some robots that are shooting these emissive cubes at you, projectiles, and you can shoot them back. So this is the, the first thing that I accomplished and I was so proud of getting the player to shoot something really simple to look at but and not too difficult at all to make but when you make it you just feel really proud of yourself <laughs> it was it was really fun to make and those cubes at the end are just for me to visually see where the bullets are going to stop or in this case the line trace which i later replaced with the vector forward of the gun and this is the first time that i could actually kill the enemies so I imported these super basic robots that take no time at all to really model and just gave them a few materials and I set it up so I can shoot them and they explode. In this section, I've made a prototype small level. So it's just a quick block up and I just wanted to set up a little space so I could play around with the mechanics and move around and get a feeling for how it feels too move around the environment and use these shooting abilities because before I was just kind of standing still. At this point, I am not using room scale VR because I hadn't had the room yet, but I recently rearranged my room and you'll see in a few clips, I actually get room scale VR. So you'll see me not using that teleport feature where I'm trying to uh, move the stick around to teleport, which I'll highlight for you guys after. This is the first mesh pass where I just blocked in the first few meshes uh, so there's no prop detail but I'm just establishing this kind of uh, sci-fi environment and you got that that interior tree which is really cool <clears throat> and you'll see now oh this is what I mean by the way I'm trying to rotate to face a direction I don't have to worry about this stuff anymore because I've got room scale um, and as you can see here there's the globe which is really nice I've got these pillars with emission properties on the sides, uh, reflection probes which are like baked, and here is a near final look at the environment. So I filled it up with props and I've got some really cool interactions. So I was so happy when I made the books fly around. It was surprisingly super simple. I used something called radial force, oh sorry, radial impulse, and it I didn't have to calculate the direction to add force to these books app. It kind of does it for you, which is really cool. The only thing is I have made the radio force like super high, so it's super unrealistic here, but it's really fun to shoot. The enemies, um, they are just bobbing up and down right now. And I added a tiny bit of knockback, but I take that out later. I've dressed up the environment, as you can see, the pot plants, the paintings. And if you look up there, there's like a walkway with the two little balcony sections. And I tried to make that connect into the next room. And if you're wondering, the globe is in this room and I moved the tree to the other one because you'll see the setup in a minute, it looks much better. And above what I'm trying to show you guys right now is the balcony. And this is the tree and it has this re they had this really nice asset with this kind of bench in a circle. So I thought it'd be really cool to put the tree in the center of it. And then I've got, of course, bins around and the uh, seating so you can look at the tree. And I just knocked that bin over. I think at the time when I was playing, I forgot if I had physics on the bins or not. And it turns out I did, which is awesome. And in this next pass, we have a, a really cool thing. I'm so excited to show you guys. So I was super proud of this. You saw it in the preview. So we have our laser bullets, which is awesome. Just cubes with a mission. And they can, of course, collide. And if you can see here, I'm calculating impulse, the direction of the bullets properly. And I've got a really good amount of force when you hit the books. And the super exciting thing here, is that the projectiles are working with the enemy and the enemy is actually looking at you for one and it is shooting projectiles back at you and it's at a decent enough speed so when you're playing in room scale vr you can actually step to the left right back and you can also just tilt your body a bit and move your head out of the way of the bullets 
So the way I have it set up is that after playing a ton of a game called Robo Recall, I noticed that the character's head, the camera, must have a form of collision. So all I did was I got my camera, I put a sphere collider on it, and I'm making the enemies look at the camera. Then the enemies just shoot forward, and that is the camera's position. So that's really cool, and that's how I did that system. And in terms of the projectiles of the player, it's quite simple. You're just shooting at the vector forward of the gun. So nothing too special there. And yeah, it's, it's so cool to dodge bullets like this. And it must be a ton of fun to play super hot in VR, having the slow motion as well. So if I combine this with my super hot tutorial, I can make my own. But I'm just going to buy the game to play it. It looks like a ton of fun. So yeah, that's about it. That's what I've been accomplishing over the last... I think this one took three days. So I think I spent... Well, it's, it's closer to two, but... I technically, technically the project went over three days, but if you look at hours, it's nowhere near three days. But anyway, I really enjoyed this. I hope you guys like this look at my uh, progress in VR. And I am currently working on a bigger project whilst I work on these side ones. These side ones allow me to learn rapidly. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoy looking at my prototypes and I'll see you guys in the next video.